Hi, I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director for Design World, here at beautiful Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Joining me once again is Monty Jasper. Monty is the Corporate VP of Safety and Engineering for Cedar Fair. Thanks for joining me again, Monty. My pleasure. We're here in front of the Top Thrill Dragster. Uh, you see it behind us? It's not running right now, so we're in a, in a safe mode here. But Monty, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the, the specs. I know it's the highest uh, ride in the park. Yes, it is. It, uh, Top Thrill Dragster is 420 feet tall. It launches a train at 120 miles an hour. It uses a hydraulic launch system to do that. It's a, essentially a horizontal catapult that slings the train toward the tower. It's a very quick ride. It's over in about 30 seconds, but it's uh, very, very thrilling. And, and hydraulics isn't something you hear that frequently in amusement rides, so I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, you, were, you were telling me interesting. It's or telling me earlier that it's about uh, 10,000 horsepower that, that it takes, uh, 4,700 psi, some some big pressures there for uh, what you're used to dealing with. Talk a little bit about why hydraulics was selected. Was it a, a footprint thing? Was it a power density thing? You know, hydraulics was selected because we needed something to do the horizontal launch. There are several ways to do that, you know, linear induction motors or some type of uh, other, you know, steam catapult or something along those lines. But the bottom line was that we needed to, to select hydraulics because of the space or the footprint of the ride itself. So we had a short launch window to get this done in, and hydraulics was the one that could do the ticket. And again, 4,700 PSI, uh, I'm sure there's some maintenance issues that you don't run into with more of the, some of the pneumatic things that it, it couple hundred, 100 PSI. Talk about that a little bit for us. Well, the hydraulic system is huge here. And as you, you pointed out, you know, most of amusement rides are running at far lower pressures and far lower, uh, uh, you know, power settings and those kind of things. But in this particular case, you know, we're, we're, you might be the difference between 150 PSI on one ride and 4,700 PSI here. It's just the orders of magnitude are huge. This is a huge piece of equipment. Uh, it runs really well for mm -hmm. what it is. All right, but when there are maintenance issues, and there are a few, it uh, requires a lot of effort, a lot of thought, and a lot of design, basically, to make that happen. Got to keep you on your toes. <laughs> it does. It certainly does. Well, thanks again, Monty, and thank you for watching. Check out all of our videos online at www.designworldonline.com. Thanks for watching.